Hello, I'm Emily Beach, and in today's video, I'm going to show you how to make this simple slab ceramic plate with a Delftware inspired underglaze decoration. You will have a block of gray clay in your take home play kit, and um, this piece of gray clay is going to get rolled out and used for our Delft pottery plate. Use your placemat and uh, rolling pin that are in your take home pottery kit to roll out the piece of clay to about one quarter inch thickness. If you're not 100% sure on how thick one quarter of an inch is, it is about the thickness of a standard pencil. So this um, is about double that size. So you need to roll this out um, to about half of this thickness. One of the tips that I can give you is when you are rolling out your clay, make sure that you are rotating it, uh, maybe at a quarter um, of a turn each time that you roll it so that you get a nice um, even slab and not a real long slab rolled out. So we're going to cut this into the size of the larger plate. You should have a large styrofoam plate um, in your clay kit. And um, you're just going to set that on top of the clay, make sure that um, all of the edges fit and you're going to use your bamboo skewer um, to press in to the clay and trace around that plate. So that's going to cut out your slab. You can uh, remove the scrap pieces and um, just ball those up. Try to get all of the air out um, of that clay because you can use this clay again and um, put this back into your Ziploc bag. I'm now going to move my clay slab, uh, flip my styrofoam plate over, and I'm going to use this uh, uh, plate as a mold. Um, so that is going to uh, mold the shape of the clay slab into a plate type shape. And so I'm just going to lightly pat that down um, into the plate. And I'm just going to take my fingers and lightly press or smooth around this outside of the plate um, so that I don't have any sharp edges. Um, one of the things that I would like to point out is that I'm not adding water to this clay. Um, you really want to try to keep the clay dry as you are working with it. Before you start to work with the underglaze, do some sketches in your sketchbook after exploring some different design options and themes in Delftware over history. If you have a blue pen, these look really great in blue pen because you can play around with how the color contrast will look in your sketches. My plate has been allowed to dry slightly and is now holding its form. It's leather hard, but it's not completely dry. I'm going to be using blue underglaze and some water and a paintbrush to create my Delft blue pottery design on the plate. One of the nice things about underglaze is that it works very similar to watercolor, so you can water down the layers to achieve a lighter blue, um, and you can double and triple the layers to get darker blue. Standing still as I let go of your cold hand Eyes are wet but lips are dry And all the things we'd planned Were never what you wanted We've been lying from the start Guess I knew it, just ignored it I let go of your cold hand I guess I saw it coming Yet it took me by surprise Oh, oh But if there's nothing left then I will just crack a smile Oh, oh I had a million different things to do And every one of them included you We had a million different things to do Why can't I say what I've been 
now that my plate has dried, I'm going to fire it and give it a coat of clear glaze. My plate has been fired and clear glazed, and you can see that it's a nice striking contrast with that blue and white color design. Here are some other pieces that I've completed using that same technique, so it doesn't have to be placed on a plate, but you could um, do this on any type of pottery for that traditional Delftware type effect. I hope you've enjoyed watching, and I hope you try out this technique. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you.